Hi everyone, I'm Nick. I'm a city planner in Glasgow in Scotland and most of my work is is really helping local communities to develop their plans for their neighbourhoods. Um, so I'm not a professional map maker, but like most planners, I love a good map. So I'd like to show you something that I'm working on at the moment. So I'll share my screen. Um, and this is helping a few, a few small villages um, up on the banks of Loch Ness. A place called Foyers is the one on the map there. They say it's a, a great place to see the Loch Ness monster, but it's been avoiding me so far. Um, so after lots of discussions with the local folk in the village, this is the plan that we've come up with for the future of their village. Thanks to Felt. Well, I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. And it's basically summarising lots of ideas and inputs from the people that live there on what I hope is a simple to understand map so they can look at it, say, right, this is how the place will be in the future. And it's a mixture of lots of the features from the bottom toolbar in Felt. And I'll not talk about all of them, but it's got things like things like routes. It's got things like clips um, of some of the buildings that are on there, uh, but like we were doing in the icebreaker for libraries. It's got a few layers in there, which I've downloaded uh, from the Scottish government's um, uh, from their uh, sources of open data, shape files, so some of the paths and the roads, for example. Um, and then I've clipped some of those so I can change the colour of the lines, but it sounds like you don't need to do that anymore from what we heard earlier on. Uh, and there's polygons and lines and there's text and there's notes in there as well. Plus I've, using the upload uh, anything, from the toolbar at the bottom felt, I've also imported a few graphics like the icons you can see there for speed limits and that kind of thing. So that's a complete map, which took me, I don't know, two to three hours um, in felt. And that's not me as a professional GIS person. That's really just learning how to play it just from playing around with it. Um, and I can export that to include it in the report or I can embed it on a website. So that's great. That's a really useful thing. But there's more to it than that, because it's not just about producing that map. There's other things that felt lets me do as well. Um, uh, so zooming out on that, I'm actually working on six maps because there's six villages who all kind of work together. So we're producing six maps, one for each village, and that's the overall area you can see that we're looking at. And again, all this is produced in felt. It's all it's all pretty easy. To do because even I can do it. Um, and that map there has a few layers uh, from shape files which I've imported, just dragged and dropped in, like the green dash footpaths, for example. Really quick to color those in just by snapping to the lines. Um, so, really easy to do. And in fact, those footpaths, I'm going to extract those just, just, in, the, just in the way that Key was just saying, export those as a new map. Um, which I can then share with some local folk, which will collaborate on as a sort of live database that they can keep up to date with path conditions and repairs and that kind of thing. So, so it'll become a live um, thing to use. Before I came across Felt, then I just wouldn't have been able to produce a plan like this, certainly not to share and collaborate things. Um, instead, I'd have had to sketch the map myself by hand and then give it to someone to pay them to use ArcView or GIS to make a map it takes a lot longer, costs more money. But apart from that, Felt also lets, lets me import and analyze GIS layers, a bit like Alvaro was saying about, you know, those changing city populations for Germany over time. So I can start to look at things and make connections and that helps me plan. Um, the cost of buying a GIS license to do that is way beyond uh, way beyond my ability, or the clients I work for as well. And QGIS is really too complex for what I need and would take too long to learn. So, so this is ideal. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, so for me, felt a bit like a mini GIS, but having seen, uh, having seen the demonstration, having seen the demonstrations just a few minutes ago, it's not so mini. It's actually quite maxi because there's so much, there's so much to do there that I haven't really scratch the surface yet um it, and it's quick and fun to learn there's, there's all this capacity that i haven't used so i'm really looking forward to using the sharing tools especially to share these maps i've done with local people so they can start to collaborate on them as well
so I'd just like to say a big a big thanks to Team Felt. Um, and there's far more for me to learn yet. 